Parts of northeast Wisconsin got some much needed rain last night, but other places stayed dry again. In the southwestern part of the state, residents are picking up the pieces left behind by some severe weather. Storms pounded the Platteville area, bringing high winds and driving rain, and Chris Woodard has that story. Heavy rain continued to fall after the worst of the storms had already left their mark on Platteville. Hail painted the streets green, and with the rain came damage. We caught up to the man in this house minutes after he escaped disaster by inches. Holy cow! Were you inside when it happened? This massive tree sheared at its base, and what you can barely see through those thick branches is a front porch smashed like a pancake. And you heard this tremendous crack. We could tell direction where it was coming from. And, oh, that big tree. Uh, that's why I grabbed the cell phone and headed for the basement. He escaped feeling lucky without any damage to the body of his house or injury to himself. I heard it go on. It was a horrible noise. And it went right down on the, the porch. We were talking to a neighbor across the street when we got a scary reminder. The steam was coming off the highway. They said that not. <laughs> Power flashes let us know we weren't out of the woods yet. Sirens blared as water rushed across streets. This tree took out power lines, leaving an entire neighborhood in the dark. You don't have to look very hard to see that down branches and trees here are a big concern, but the water is also a big concern. It is rushing like this throughout most of this city. That's actually our vehicle right there, and you can see how it's pooling around the tires. In the middle of the storm, street crews did their best to keep roads open and to clear clogged storm sewers. With more damaging weather on the way, many were still just trying to make sense of what had already happened. I was out here doing the laundry and it all kind of blew up on me. A lot of hail, a lot of strong winds, tree branches coming down. We would like to see that rain around here. Uh, not the damage though, the damage wasn't limited to Grant County. In nearby Lafayette County, five barns and one home were damaged. Crawford County, a mudslide closed a highway and stranded some cars. The State Emergency Operations Center was partially activated to monitor the storms and provide help.